Hey YouTube, I'm Brad Absher and today I'm going to be updating my seventh tutorial like I said yesterday and that tutorial is on a bad word filter and in my older tutorial you pretty much had to enter in your own bad words manually by code and it's just not efficient that way so today I'm upgrading it and instead of doing it you know manually I have a text file with about 450 bad words and in the end it's gonna work the same exact way you know uh, uppercase, lowercase, it doesn't really matter. So let's get started. And I'm going to start by using a single view application and name it bad word filter upgrade. Alright, so save it there. Alright, so first thing we are going to want to do is drag a our text file into Xcode. Now this text file I will include in my source code. So in the end, if you want to achieve this, um, you're going to have to download my source code. There's no other way because this text file was pretty much manually made in the end. And um, yeah, so just check the source code. It'll be there. You know, I'm, I'm hosting on Mega Upload, no problems. Anyway, let's get back to the coding. So first thing we want to do is add our text field delegate. So right after the UI view controller or whatever it is there, you're going to want to copy that in. Next, we're going to put this at these two IVARs in the .h. And one is for a text field, which we will call name. And the other one is an NS array, which is pretty much the array of bad words from the text file. And we do that, you know, on the view to load. So, yeah. Anyway, let's set and getter the... NSRN, and yeah, do it after this bracket. Then go to your dot M and synthesize it. Alright. Also, make sure you add these two methods. I forgot to say that. So go back to your dot H and uh, enter in these two methods. So I'll I'll read it out to you. Dash space start parentheses and a string space asterisk and parentheses. Remove bad words from string, colon, start parentheses, and a string, space, asterisk, and parentheses, string, semicolon, next one, no, next line, dash, space, start parentheses, bool, and parentheses, text field, colon, start parentheses, UI text field, space, asterisk, and parentheses, text field, space, should change characters in range, colon, start parentheses, and a range, and parentheses, range, space, Replacement string colon start parentheses and a string space asterisk and parentheses string semicolon. Now uh, I'm not sure, but I think it should automatically you know have a fill in once you get to should change characters and stuff. So you don't have to type out the whole thing. But if you download the source code, then you can just copy it over. So once that's in, let's go to our dot m, and in your view to load, you're gonna want to go here. You're going to want to um, copy this in. Alright, so first things first is we're going to uh, set the delegate of the text field to self. So these um, methods that we are going to implement in a few minutes will be called. And I'll read out after that. NS string space asterisk space bad words file path space equals space start bracket start bracket NS bundle space main bundle and bracket space path for resource colon at quotation bad word list quotation space of type colon at quotation txt and quotation and bracket semicolon and that pretty much we're just getting the file path of the text field and which is like in our main bundle here and it's the same name as you know the text file so the next line and a string space asterisk space bad words file space equals space start bra start bracket start bracket and a string space alloc and bracket space init with contents of file colon bad words file path space encoding nsutf h string encoding space error colon nil and bracket semicolon so pretty much the error there is you know in case there's any problems but there shouldn't be any problems and that's why I'm leaving it nil so next line is start bracket self space set bad words colon start bracket bad words file space component separated by a string colon at sign quotation backwards uh, backwards slash n 
and quotation and bracket and bracket semicolon next line bad words file release now we get that error because of something I can't explain why it's under NDA so at this moment it's under NDA so yeah so make sure you turn this feature off and perfect that should take away the error all right perfect so now we pretty much get a warning here is because we haven't implemented our actions yet so we're going to copy in these method, uh, methods it's actually a lot easier if you download the source code like uh, I've been saying it is a lot of code but if you really need to uh, like if you can't download it for any reason and just I'll read it out to you but um, just these two methods are the should return and did end ending or whatever just to make sure like the done button works when you click the keyboard and stuff but that's not really relevant right now anyway I already um, uh, said the name of this method so after the bracket do the next line for space start parentheses and a string space asterisk space word space in space bad words and parentheses start bracket next line string space equal space start bracket string space string by replacing occurrences of string colon word space with string colon at quotation quotation um, space options colon ns case insensitive search space range colon ns make range start parentheses zero comma space string dot length and parentheses end bracket semicolon next line and bracket again and then next line return space string semicolon so pretty much we're uh, having like a for statement which is like a loop and we're getting all the ns strings from the array that we made in the view load and we're replacing each um, like if it's uh it'll check if it's like if the text field bad word if the bad word in the text field you know is there it'll replace it with nothing so I guess you could just do with string nil but I like doing the quotations better and then the options pretty much is just like if it's uppercase or lowercase so make sure you have that in too and the range is zero and however the string is how however long the string is in the text field so yeah that's what a range is. So the next method is the bool text field should should uh, change characters and range. Then after the bracket, I already mentioned you know the whole method there. So um, after the bracket, do start bracket text field space set text colon start bracket self space remove bad words from string colon start bracket and a string space string with format colon at sign quotation then shift 5 on Mac I forgot what it's called it's oh actually no it's called the per, uh, percentage at percentage at quotation comma space text field dot text comma space string and bracket and bracket and bracket semicolon is three and brackets there next line return space start parentheses string dot length space equals equals space zero and parentheses um, semicolon so pretty much, you know, this is just like, um, this is like the delegate method for the text field, which um, pretty much calls this method here, you know, every time a character is changed in the text field, which is pretty handy. So it's not firing away an NS timer or anything like that. So it's not wasting battery, which is very nice. So we're going to build that, make sure there's no problemos. We're going to make a little um, UI here, just a text field, and that's it. Just got to find it. Here we go. You set the delegate while you're at it. I don't know why I wasn't dismissing there, but just make sure you set the delegate to the files owner. Then go to the files owner, then connections, then go to the name or whatever you named it, then connect it. And that's pretty much it for the coding and interface builder and everything in Xcode wise. So now we are going to go to um, the simulator. I'm going to run it. Also, my next tutorial is going to be an update to this. Um, well, not really an update, but it's going to like it's a better tutorial on how to use the camera and photo library. So look forward to that. I think I'm going to have that up later or tomorrow. So anyway, um, I'm just going to type a word here that's from the text file, and you'll see right now that it will delete. Perfect. You see that? So now you could do this lowercase, uppercase, lowercase, then, you know, you'll see. It doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase. You know, anything will work, really, so, yeah. 
Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. It was this is pretty much an update, you know, this makes it easier on everyone instead of manually typing and stuff. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to my uh, future tutorials and take a look at my older tutorials too. So, uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks.